we're going to create a thread in this tutorial. First, let's uh, get a new file started. Use a template again, matrix. Okay, and then go to model, save my file. Document. Six, three, three, save. Now, what we are going to do, uh, go to the show menu bar and make sure you're using draft. Turn on the grid if necessary. We're going to use isometric view. So go to draw. We're going to draw a helix first. So uh, it asks you to specify center point of the base. We're going to use zero, zero. You can see it asks you to input the radius, base radius. We're going to use 10 and then it asks you to input the radius of the other end. I'm going to give the 10 as well. So it will be equally, okay, equal radius. And uh, in this time, it asks you to input the height, uh, but we want to define the uh, number of turns first. So I type T, hit enter, it asks you, by default it is three terms, so we can put, um, I'm going to put 10 terms, and the height again, right? helix, specify helix height, so I'm going to give 10 again, so the pitch will be 10 divided by 10, it will be one unit, and you can see the helix is being created. I'm going to save my file. Okay, next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a profile of my threads, which is a triangle. So I'm going to create a polygon, polygon, and uh, enter the number of side, it will be three. Hit enter, it asks you to specify center of the polygon or at here another option is edge so i'm going to type e hit enter it l it will ask you to specify first point of the edge i'm going to put it in first i'm going to turn on this um, snap model on i'm going to put on x axis so choose any of the point uh, outside of the helix will be due. So I'm going to specify this one, or you can put it here, doesn't matter. I'm going to put it 20, 0, and then I'm going to turn off my uh, snap. You can see it asks you to input the other one, right? So it, first you need to specify the uh, length of the edge. I'm going to give point eight five, and then use the tab key. It asks you to choose the angle. I'm going to give one fifty. Hit enter. Then you will see a triangle has been put here. If you look at it from the top view, then here's the profile okay this time we're going to because this will be the profile of the thread so I'm going to make this one vertical like in uh, X and the Z plane how can do that we can use rotate so type type R O 
you can see ROTA rotate 3D rotate 3D and uh, this is the object we are going to rotate it one it says select object objects one found hit enter and then you can see there's several options here we're going to use x axis as my rotating axis hit x and uh, hit enter and also it asks you about the rotating center okay so specify a point on the x axis i just use zero zero basically it will be rotate above this red axis so i just hit enter use the default setting zero 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 okay and then it asked me to rotate input rotate angle here so i'm going to use 90 degree okay so from top you can see we only see a line here and from front we will see this angle right we already rotate this uh, profile let's also rotate the helix this time what we can do here just use rotate and then select rotate and uh, this is helix we would like to rotate hit enter and then find the base point we are going to use the uh, we're going to use the uh, zero zero as the uh, zero zero as the base point and then what we can do here we would like to move this end to this direction so what we can do here we can use uh, choose reference or reference and then we're going to give the angle specify the reference angle so it will be let's rotate a little bit so i will be able to hit enter to bring it back to so we are going to use this enter and then deactivate the snap tool get my end, end point and you can see right so if I'm going to put my line here then this end will be going to here I'm going to choose this midpoint as my reference. Okay, good. Let me save my file and then go to menu bar tool to make 3D modeling. And then this time I'm going to copy my profile hit enter and the specify point I would like to choose this center and then it will be to my end point of the helix and uh, hit escape now you can see I have my profile triangle attached here and then I'm going to use my swift choose this angle triangle as my profile hit enter and it asks me to select the path so I'm going to use Alex and then save my file change this to realistic hit and then 
let's see from view then you can see uh, thread it's being created save your file uh, one more thing we can do here is just to make additional solid solid and make this one to be green hit ok make it my solid okay. bring this to solid and then we can hide the rest of my layer bring it to isometric view save my file this is my thread being created 